professional development plays an important part in the making of the United States Marine. Lieutenant Junior Grade Amy Brooke Bryant, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let's pray. Holy Mom's Day, a great celebration, we give you thanks for these young men of Charlie Company who have earned the title Marine. We give you thanks for the gifts and abilities you have given to each one of them, which they now bring to strengthen our Marine Corps. We give you thanks for the drill instructors, company officers, and battalion leadership who have shaped and molded these young men into Marines. We are grateful this day for the families who have supported them every step of their journey, for their mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and friends, we give you thanks. We ask, O oh Holy One, that you be with these new Marines as they continue in their training. Keep them safe and bless them. Remind them to be always faithful to their country, to their core, to each other, and to themselves, just as you, O oh Holy One, are always faithful. Bless our nation, bless these new Marines, and God, bless the United States Marine Corps. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Crew Depot San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historic event in the life of a Marine, their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, New Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of a recruit depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The depot is also home to recruiter school and drill instructor school. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company C, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march to the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating parades will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The commander of troops is Captain Roberto G. Cruz, Company Commander, Company C, 1st Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is Captain Manuel A. Ramirez, Executive Officer, Company C, 1st Crew Training Battalion, for crew training regiments. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command Sound Adjutant's call will begin today's parade. Discipline, which assures respect for authority, instant and 
and willing obedience to orders and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing. Consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps. Acquiring the common spirit of a Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, drive, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and a burning desire to work with and for others toward excellence in common goals. For 245 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation falls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies. Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine, the steel resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, separate by others, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat, forward deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready, to defend freedom anytime and anywhere, to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. of Company C today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade day, and have been trained, as are all Marines, as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard a recruit depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their place in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors to the military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place the right hand over their hearts, and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors?
ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Please be seated. Following the command, Murray Press, the Murray Ashton, will give the command sound off, which signals the band of Murray Ford of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
the parade Ashton now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops.
nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. Finally, I'd like to recognize our highly 
highly skilled marksmanship, martial arts, water survival, academics, instructors. Our exceptional chaplain, corpsman, the entire medical team who do an amazing job at ensuring our physical, mental, and spiritual readiness. And of course, the dedicated recruiter who saw potential in the Marine. In fact, we have two Marines with us today I'd like to recognize. First, Corporal Maserato is joining us from Weapons Field Training Battalion, where he coached and trained the platoon who achieved the highest life rank score. And Staff Sergeant Blackmore, seated to his left, is joining us from Phoenix, Arizona, where he recruited today's honorman. Job well done, gentlemen. Keep up the great work. <laughs> Finally, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll excuse me while I'd like to address the new Marines one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines. Brigadier General Philip N. Briggs, Commanding General, First Marine Logistics Group, Camp Pendleton, California. Brigadier General Briggs is a native of La Cruces, New Mexico, and was commissioned in 1991. After graduating from basic school, Brigadier General Briggs attended Marine Corps Engineer Officers Course and obtained the Military Occupational Specialty of 1302, Combat Engineer Officer. Brigadier General Briggs has served in a variety of challenging builds in numerous commands to include serving as a construction platoon commander at Marine Wing Support Squadron 374, commanding officer at Headquarters Company, Marine Wing Support Group 37, commanding officer at Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 115, commanding officer at Headquarters Regiment 1st Marine Logistics Group, commander at U.S. Marine Forces South, branch head, at Engineering and Explosive Ordnance Disposal, Deputy Commandant and Logistics, and the Deputy Director 
at Capabilities Development Directorate, Deputy Commandant, Combat Development and Integration. Brigadier General Chris currently serves as the Commanding General for First Marine Logistics Group, Camp Hamilton, California. His awards include the Legion of Merit, with two gold stars in lieu of third award, the Bronze Star, Defense Meritorious Service Medal, with one gold star in lieu of second award, Meritorious Service Medal, Joint Service Accommodation Medal, Navy and Marine Corps Accommodation Medal, with two gold stars in lieu of third award, Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, and the Combat Action Ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brigadier General Philip M. Briggs.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Roberto T. Cruz. The company first sergeant is Gunnery Sergeant Jonathan Lopez. Ladies and gentlemen, Turn to the drill instructors.
The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training.